Toronto. Scrum. What's happening, Forum? Hi guys, so today is... Stop, you beautiful bastards. What up, pimps? Yeah, yeah, everyone. All of it. What's happening, Forum? What's up, you beautiful bastards? Fuck. Catchphrase. Hey, it's Glink, and today we're gonna talk about people who talk to their cameras. Vloggers. Man, they have it easy, right? Just a guy or a girl with a camera documenting their life one day at a time and making a living while doing it? Yeah, it sounds like the perfect life. So, how did it ever go wrong with these guys? And uh, it's just been getting worse and worse, and we've just been becoming more and more unhappy and stressed out, like both of us. It's not clickbait. 
I really am ending the vlog. Um, this is probably gonna be the hardest video that we've ever had to make on YouTube right now. YouTube and videos on the internet have been a part of everyday life for thousands of content creators for years now. And in some ways, the cracks are beginning to show. I've noticed some trends and some recurring themes that come along with these big, famous vloggers and the downsides that can arise from such a lifestyle. In this video, I'm going to analyze some of the less cheerful aspects of vlogging, why there may be negatives associated with it, and some of the people who may have been affected by these downsides. Of course, I'm not an expert or anything, but I do recognize patterns when I see them. Remember that diary or journal you had as a kid? Maybe you wrote about who you had a crush on in class, how you spent your day, that sort of thing. Well, YouTube allows for you to share that diary entry, in some cases, to millions of viewers. That is what we call vlogging, and it's been an extremely popular video format pretty much since the start of YouTube. Many channels have gotten huge fan bases and viewership just off of vlogs, and even other channels that initially got big for a completely different type of video have also started making vlogs of their own, which also do very well. Syndicate and the FaZe Clan, who started off with gaming, are the perfect examples for this. So what is the downside to vlogging? Well, it seems like constantly vlogging and creating a channel based entirely around it kind of forces you into a mold, one that you might not like after a while. When you're doing the same thing repeatedly and out of a sense of obligation more so than the enjoyment, it tends to make you a lot less passionate about it. Take Casey Neistat for example, who obviously the intro to this video was parodying, and who is, in my opinion, probably the best cinematographer on YouTube. He cited this exact phenomenon when he announced that he he was ending his very popular vlog. What do I want out of my career? Do I want to be making vlogs when I'm 40 years old? And the answer is no. Like, a career is always about progress. It's never arriving in one place and staying there. I've always approached everything with that mentality. Certainly when I think of the long game that is my career, this was a big stepping stone, but this was not the finish line. While Keemstar is not a vlogger specifically, he obviously is the host of Drama Alert, a show that's not too dissimilar from vlogging in nature in that you create a daily obligation to produce content, and it's really just you talking into a camera. He explained his growing disinterest in Drama Alert and doing these types of videos on H3's podcast. I think it's both, because I'm taking a break from my channel right now because I don't care. Like, when these stories come up and stuff's going on, like, I don't care anymore, like, the... The drama is cool to pay attention to if you're interested in a story, but forcing that audience to um, listen to stories that they don't care about uh, can get boring. And with me being the host, there's a lot of stories that come up that I just, I don't care about. Was it always like that for you? No, no, I was interested. Like, um, I was very, very much interested in whatever the story was, right? It was me fi figuring out what the truth was and then trying to figure out how to make it like super entertaining for the audience. But um, I think because it's been repetitive, you know, because it's the same people in the same music. Yeah. The big takeaway from this and countless other successful people is that if you're not challenging yourself creatively, you're not going to feel fulfilled and satisfied in your creative outlets, like YouTube, for example. And how natural is it really to commit to a daily or consistent vlog even? I mean, most of the time, by its very nature, vlogging is going to be artificial. If your objective is to grow your audience and entertain your viewers, that is, there isn't anything intrinsically negative about simply recording your daily life with a camera, but beyond that, vlogging usually takes it to a whole new level, especially if you have a large audience. It's not going to be just you talking about your mundane life, oh no. It has to be spiced up, whether it's trying to act overly excited or engaging in more extreme activities than you normally would and doing a lot of embarrassing things because it makes for good entertainment. You can see countless vloggers doing these antics and in a lot of ways this is where the prank channel spawned from as well. The main drive is always going to be getting more views, sometimes at the expense of the creator's own integrity. Ultimately, everything is for you the viewer, and if it's not entertaining, you aren't going to watch. I know I've used this analogy before for my streamers and depression video, which is sort of a similar topic. By the way, go check that out if you haven't yet. But I really do think it fits pretty well. YouTube is to content creators what The Truman Show was to Jim Carrey's character. A giant show made for the enjoyment of the audience, at the expense of Jim Carrey's character 
who is constantly on display and is only really there for the enjoyment of the audience. And well, if you make a living off of YouTube and vlogging, much of your life is going to revolve around just that.